So welcome to my restaurant review and critique on Menu Gordon Jones. It's a lovely little restaurant in Bath. This is just us driving from Cambridge here. You can see really sort of how flat Cambridgeshire and Hertfordshire is on the way there and as we're driving to Bath. Now Gordon Jones is Scottish, he's married to a Finnish lady and he does a lunch taster. As you can see the lovely descent into Bath. Now the lunch taster is £40 and his dinner tasting menu is £55 and it's six courses. And just to give you an idea of the interior of the restaurant, it is kind of like a bistro sort of style and you've got a large sort of window frontage onto the road there and it is quite small, it is all just all of these tables here that you see and then there's a kitchen there that you can see right into there and there's Gordon Jones there with the beard. You can see it's quite quirky decorations, uh, quite unusual, it's quite homely as well so it's really fantastic. I can't believe he hasn't got a Michelin star yet though he is in the Michelin Guide. So the amuse-bouche was Dorset snails with basil oil, chorizo oil, balsamic vinegar and homemade hummus there. It's fantastic to dip your bread into. And the first course was smoked eel and salted mash with radish and lots of different sort of leaves there, lettuce leaves and things. Now what he's done is he's used an empty eggshell um, as the place which holds some of the ingredients so you have to sort of lift up this eggshell that's on your plate and ent empty out the contents into your plate. It's a very unusual and unique idea uh, of how to use a used eggshell. <laughs> And then on to the second course, that's duck and wheat berries. Fantastic, really, really succulent, really, really delicious, fantastic idea. And on to the third course, it's seared red mullet, monk's beard, swollen raisins and duck salami. Absolutely fantastic, really, really delicious. I just love all of the different decorations. And the fourth course is loin, liver and kidney of rabbit, Y Valley asparagus. Roscoff onion, braised rice and apricot puree. And then to cleanse your palate, there was beetroot sorbet, pickled cucumber with kale water. Now this was a very, very unusual one. I don't mind beetroot sorbet, but I found that the pickled cucumber was too sort of salad-like tasting um, compared to the sort of sweet beetroot sorbet. So I found that a little bit weird. But it is, however, something that you do need to try because you just sort of can't explain the sort of taste sensation that you feel when you have it. So I do still recommend it, although it wasn't quite for my palate. And then on to the pudding, which was just, oh, it's just my absolute favourite pudding of all time. It's chocolate and orange tart with some honeycomb sprinkled on the top there. Um, and the orange jus on the side there that you can see was just so zesty. And the the quality of the actual sort of um, orange chocolatey tart was just really soft and absolutely lush, gorgeous. So I hope that you've enjoyed my uh, mini restaurant review of Menu Gordon Jones. As you can see, it's fantastic, uh, really, really original, quite unusual uh, food choices, brilliant. And um, what it's called, it's called a surprise tasting menu because basically it's not laid out on the menu before, you don't know what you're getting, you just know that you're getting six courses, uh, so it's a complete surprise and I think that's got a fantastic element to it and it kind of gives it a bit of a lift because you don't know what you're getting and you need to be quite attentive, you need to sort of really listen to what uh, the waitress or waiter is going to tell you uh, so that you know what you're eating. Um, so it's just a fantastic uh, tiny little restaurant, really, really good, um, so I'd really do recommend it. it was brilliant and I think that he should get a Michelin star soon so I wish him Gordon Jones I wish him all the best of luck uh, in his future business ventures